Good, good morning, everyone. Uh, the topic I'm going to talk today is wearable and brandable sensors for human healthcare monitoring. And Yunyanya, coming from Central Science University, uh, China. And the main content in this talk uh, includes this part and background and the three um, main contents in this talk and then summary. Okay. Uh, as you know, uh, sensors are very important and for our healthcare monitoring, and especially for the physical sensory. The physical sensory, that means the all kinds of vital signs, uh, just as body temperature, blood pressure, heart rate, uh, respiratory uh, rate, uh, ECG, just uh, electrocardiogram, and the EMG, EEG, and so on. We convert these singlets into the uh, monitor electro singlets. That means, uh, but for conventional wearable sensors, they have some disadvantages, just as they are rigid, they are book, and they are generic or mixed. <clears throat> for the, oh, sorry, uh, for for the real time wearable sensors and for real time monitoring. Actually, we need some special uh, characterizations uh, and uh, advantages, just as long you may say, long you may say, and they should be uh, flexible or stretchable, and they should be uh, have a good hydrant with the skins, and they are uh, lower functionally, just or man, uh, much uh, much functionally. Uh, so like that. This, Normally they have this three part. One part is for sensory element. That means it can be real time monitoring and in situ or on site analysis and also single step detection. And the second part is interconnect. They should be high contact and have the constant electroabilities. And the third part is the substrate. Uh, the substrate. The, the substrate should uh, and also be biocompatible and they should have a high modulus of elasticity uh, like this uh, characterizations. So for human health care monitoring and first just I, uh, I just talked uh, uh, we should do sensory that get a synchronous that has fitness uh, tracking or health monitoring and then we have to process this uh, singlets uh, using uh, artificial intelligence or big data that a uh, cloud company. And we have to uh, we can monitor the uh, signals days, weeks, or uh, months. And then we can get the remote diagnostics. And it can also uh, feedback to uh, process singlets. This is the, uh, the root. Uh, for sensory processing and diagnosis, uh, diagnosis. But the materials are very important during the sensory, and uh, the, especially for conducting materials. Uh, actually, in uh, wearable sensors, there are two kinds of materials, uh, conducting materials. One is metallic uh, material. They are in uh, in not need high electricity, uh, high electric conductivity. Is the advantage like uh, little particles, little wires, little sheets. Uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, a, the materials can be long and metallic. Uh, they have the advantage of intrinsically flexible and uh, stretchable, and they can uh, elaborate chemical function functionalizations. Uh, this kind of material, such as carbon, leather tube, graphene, uh, conducting polymers. And uh, meantime, we can mix metallic and non-metallic material to get hybrid or composite materials uh, in our available sensors, such as, uh, the, for example, the several nanowise with reduced graphene oxide or a carbon nanotube with mixed materials and so on. So in my talk, the first part, uh, the printed cell nanowise uh, hybrid with reduced graphene oxide as electrode 
or whatever ECG monitoring. So for this kind of uh, materials, first we have to uh, fabricate the high quality electrode. So during this process, uh, we first uh, we use the screen printing techniques to fabricate several level wise on PT substrate and then get a lily. And the second step, uh, we screen printing uh, reduce gravity oxide uh, on uh, several nanowise layer and then uh, leaning, and then we can get good uh, uh, electron. Actually, during the screen printing, we have to optimize the, uh, uh, the fabrication parameters and also uh, the different passes we are result uh, in different, uh, the different uh, conductivities. Uh, here with the optimization, we get three printing passes and we can get good uh, several nanowise uh, like this, the, 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 uh, images. Uh, and then we can optimize the screen printing grappling, uh, grappling oxide. And here just uh, without grappling oxide, just only several nanowire layer and one time, uh, one pass grappling oxide, two passes grappling oxide and three pass. You can hear just from zero to two times and the sheet resistance decreased dramatically. And, uh, and the, at the meantime, the transparency almost the same. So that means with the optimization, just uh, say, say one nanowise, just three, uh, three printing passes and uh, reduce globally oxide, just two uh, uh, printing passes that we can do uh, really good uh, 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 electrodes. Here, just the way it's grappling oxide can. You can say uh, here they reduce grappling oxide that's covered on the uh, seven nanowire uh, surface. And, and then we can test the me mechanical flexibility and the stability here. The results show that, that with the bedding degree from uh, zero degree to 180 degree, you can show the resistance are just shows a little, a, a very little decrease. And, it means the resistance of several nanowires uh, with uh, graphene oxide uh, increased by a factor less than two percent. Just here, and uh, almost similar to uh, several nanowires, only several nanowires uh, electric here. But at the meantime, you the with the different bedding cycles, that from uh, zero to one thousand five hundred, you can show here the the rate the rate that is a several nanowire with graphene oxide and the black data are the only uh, several nanowires. You can show the resistance uh, where rotation of them uh, just, just less than one percent after 1,500 bedding seconds. But especially we should uh, notice that the former one, the former one is uh, uh, several nanowire with globulin, it's much lower than only several nanowires. That means the several nanowires with globulin is much more stable uh, during the bedding seconds. There are, there are different bedding seconds. And then we use this uh, screen printing several nanowires with uh, reduced globulin oxide electrode for ECG uh, monitoring. Here are short compare uh, uh, three different uh, electrodes just uh, several nanowires with reduced graphene oxide electrode and only several nanowires electrode. And commercial uh, electrode is several with several coronal uh, drive electrode. That's three. You can show the signals just sinking uh, and moving. They also they almost show the same uh, signals and compatible. That means uh, the, the several nanowires and the several nanowires with graphene oxide actually shows they can get the comparable uh, signals with the commercial electrode. But on the other hand, we have to get the, uh, this electrode export, exported with uh, salinity over a period of time, that's 24 hours. Here, I just compared uh, several nanowires with Several nanowires and graphene oxide. You can show here uh, 
your the, the, the different time four hours eight hours twelve hours twenty four hours make sure the only seven nanowise electrode increased by more than one hundred fifty times after twenty four hours, but the hybrid seven nanowise with graphene oxide only increased uh, of fact about one time one time, but especially just this electrode uh, they. Uh, in setting state should be almost the same, but with the moving, you can show here, uh, several nanowires just have, the, the signals are confused. That means it, it doesn't work anymore, but the several nanowires with globally outside it showed good signals here. It still can work well. And especially for this kind of electrode for long time usage monitor. And from uh, at the beginning and 24 hours, uh, CT moving it just uh, work uh, work well during the 24 hours. Especially use this kind of electrode stick directly on a uh, skin surface. You can sure uh, at the beginning and the 24 hours it still uh, influence the skin and uh, skin surface and almost the same at, at the beginning and after 24 hours. Okay, and the second part is that uh, I'm going to talk is a printed graphene uh, electrode on uh, textiles for wearable health care uh, monitoring. But for this kind, as you know, graphene is very, uh, is a, a popular uh, materials. And here, uh, we also want you to uh, use the screen printing techniques to publicate uh, the electrode on textiles. So the first thing we have to make uh, the printable inks and then uh, use the screen printing techniques. Uh, after printing, and we treat with about 80 degree to get a good uh, pattern, uh, pa uh, pattern, uh, pattern electrode. Uh, especially because use the screen printing, so we, we can easily to get large area, the pattern electrode. Uh, here shows the textile surface, only text uh, surface, and then we print it. Uh, we print it graphene oxide, uh, print it gra uh, graphene uh, on textile surface. And this just uh, this surface that uh, looks uh, uh, beautiful uh, uh, images. And for this, uh, also we uh, optimize the printing process one time, two times, three, uh, uh, three times, four times. Uh, uh, normally, uh, using three times uh, three uh, printing passes, we can get a uh, good uh, conductive uh, uh, graphene uh, electrode. And especially, especially for this kind of uh, screen print electrode, it shows a good uh, washable, uh, washable, uh, washable, uh, washable. Uh, from beginning and uh, 10 times uh, washing. And uh, the observer, uh, the resistance shows a uh, uh, increase, uh, increase about uh, thirty to forty, uh, even, but it still can work well for uh, wearable uh, sensors. Uh, for this kind of flexibility, uh, flexible uh, flexibilities just here and uh, initial lens, and then you different bending uh, radius from the bending radius from uh, sixteen millimeters to about uh, four. Millimeter, you can show that uh, resistance uh, are almost the same. I was uh, just bending and really uh, releasing almost the same. Also, uh, just a little uh, increased with uh, with uh, with decrease uh, de decreasing the bending radius. And especially, we can compare this grappling textile electrode with the commercial electrode. You can show during the different bending cycles. Uh, or about 1,000 times, the, uh, the resistance are very stable, almost the same, but the commercial electrode you show are uh, increased dramatically. Uh, if more and more, and the, the, the resistance will increase larger and larger. So this shows the uh, morphologies uh, after eight washing cycle and also 2,000 bending cycles. You can compare the system. Uh, more for the, almost the same as the uh, initial polyethylene uh, uh, morphology. 
And then we use this uh, print graphing uh, uh, textile electrical uh, for ECG monitoring here. Uh, you can see uh, the, 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 the synchronous just compared uh, with the commercial electrode, the silver and silver chlor uh, chloride uh, electrode. And almost the same here, uh, the sitting and the waving, uh, the very, very similar, uh, very, very similar. But, but it, on the other hand, uh, after washing cycle, just here, uh, print, printing, graphing, textile electrode washing eight times before washing and after washing. And the, the signals are very similar. There's a little difference in ECG signals at the sitting stage and, and also the wave stage. Although there's only a little distortion during the wave stage. But compared with uh, the commercial electrode, uh, after 2000 baby cycles, you can see a global uh, textile electrode very stable sitting and the wave. But the commercial electrode, only sitting state is okay, but uh, under waving state, it cannot work anymore, and the signals are very confused. That means they printed graphing uh, text uh, textile electrode are very really, really much more stable than commercial electrode during the bedding uh, different bedding cycles. Okay, this is the two part, just printing the cell line wire and the refuse graphene outside and also printing the graphene uh, uh, electrode uh, for uh, available health care monitoring. And uh, the third part is the composite ratio and the strange sensors. And also this sensor can be uh, available, uh, uh, can be used at the available health care uh, healthcare monitoring as well. For well, these are uh, similar uh, uh, types of sensors. Uh, <clears throat> the first one uh, I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk is the uh, uh, pressure sensors that we use the inkjet printing uh, PDMS uh, PDMS uh, using the uh, different elastic microstructures. Uh, if you normally it it will give card to inject print PDMS because the PDMS inks are not stable, are normally a lot stable under room temperatures. So the first thing we have to make the uh, suitable uh, PDMS inks uh, with controllable viscosity just below 14 CP, just the normally way inject print used uh, in 24 hours at, 20, at room temperature, like here, and especially that compared uh, the, the inks we used, uh, the load displays curves here demonstrate that the ink that diluted PDM inks had more displays at the same low. It means that a lower elastic modulus and hardness. That's a good, uh, good, good uh, mechanic uh, properties. And you think, uh, if you use these PDMS inks and we inject printing uh, different uh, metal structure, metal structures. Just here, just the S, it means that the PDMS films. And this 177 means with the print inject printed PDMS doors, the distance between the two label doors are 177 micrometers and the same uh, meaning just like 250 micrometer, uh, 353 micrometers, and also 500 micrometers. For this, use this different metal structures, we can uh, fabricate the pressure sensor that compare their capacitors like here, uh, like here, and just compare the sensitivity, the results here shows the, diff uh, the obvious two uh, ranges. Uh, two ranges, uh, but compare the sensitivities, the pressure sensitivity, you can see here that best one is P500, uh, better than P353 and better than uh, 250 and better than P177. And they are all better than uh, PDMS films. 
And especially the best one is here, just shows the uh, over 10 uh, kilo, uh, kilo, uh, kilo power uh, here. And also the second range is still over two of two. At the meantime, use this kind of uh, inject printed uh, microstructures. We also can fabricate the cell, cell powered hyperelectric sensors here. Uh, just the structure here, the uh, ITO electrode, heat subject, and then this the ITO and the glass. And here we can give the pressure here, release and release uh, and uh, uh, pressure and release here. And then we can get the voltage, uh, get the voltage that they sell the, the turbo electric sensors. And here the best, uh, the, the largest which can over 1.2 uh, voltage here. But meantime, the microstructures can uh, obviously, uh, obviously influence the, the voltage, the output voltage here, uh, just here. Uh, the best one uh, is P250, uh, just over, over 1.2 voltage here. And that means from this structure, this structure we can see, uh, that the micro uh, inject, uh, inject printed microstructure uh, PDMS has the effective uh, turbo electric effects. And also the turbo electric charges are easily separated as the device release. And there is a balance between the PDMS coverage and the turbo uh, electric effect. So that means uh, the inject printed uh, PDMS uh, metal structure can be used as the pressure uh, sensors and also the cell self power of uh, powered turbo electric sources. And the second one is that uh, several nanowires uh, with the polymer composite screen sensors here. But here the the silver nanowires, we can, uh, uh, we, can we all know that the silver is just uh, dispersed like this. And we also use the, uh, the polymers, uh, the polymers, just a, a PAA, uh, a PTIC acid, and iron, and also with APS, uh, alonium uh, phosphate, phosphate here. But here we mix uh, silver nanowires, polymers, APA solution, and get the polymer composite, <laughs> composite uh, solutions. And then we cast uh, this solution on PTFE mold and then uh, uh, exfoliated uh, and uh, uh, shifted to uh, the stress like here. And then we, uh, they can be encapsulated with Ecoflex uh, elastomer, just like here, uh, here. That from the morphology here shows that uh, the several nanowires are dispersed on polymer uh, system, on polymer system. But here you can see the, uh, the this electrode can be uh, stretched for over 200, even 500 uh, percent. The here shows a different from zero to 100, 200, and 300 uh, stretcher. Uh, strengths and it can show uh, still really good uh, conductivity. And uh, the, this, this uh, uh, electrode is very really sensitive. Only 1% strength that can show the, the signals. And also, uh, on different uh, frequencies, and they also show the good uh, signals outside. That's highly consistent for each straining and resistance cycle at the different strain and the frequency. And uh, we, uh, we, we want to know what the mechanism about this sensing. Just compare the cross section SEM image, just the uh, beginning and the 50% screen and the 400 screens. You can show here that the cell nanowires uh, can uh, collect the, uh, the, 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 uh, at the at the bridge with the stretching screens. And that and then it can uh, maintain good electric conductivity even at 400 uh, percent strength. That's why this electrode had good strength for us, strengthability. 
and compared, we showed a good uh, uh, linear range here shows that compared with the uh, published result. And also this cell nanowise and polymer composite screen sensors uh, that uh, showed good stability that over uh, 1,000 uh, recyclers. That this is the 10% stretching. And also here is a 50% stretching. Uh, good stability and periodic cycling uh, characteristics during long-term loading and unloading. And in this, uh, using this uh, strain sensor, uh, we can use as a the, like the finger or uh, finger bending and uh, the joint movement, uh, ECG monitoring, uh, partial monitoring, and the only slow signals. So good applications in monitoring of human body for large strains and also uh, small strains. And the third part is uh, uh, the carbon uh, carbon nanotubes and uh, mixing of composite strain sensors. And also uh, the similar publication, uh, the, the process uh, that you uh, uh, multi-wall carbon nanotube and mix, mix together. And then uh, we can get the composite film and for sensors. That here, uh, just, just the balance, the ratio between the uh, carbon nanotube and uh, uh, mixing that here, uh, one to two percent here that the balance, the, the gauge factor and also the, the, uh, the, the strings, the strings. The here, uh, the signal is the stability test, the long, long cycle stability that here the 1,000 times. And also it should do uh, excellent adherence stability just here the compare the resistance increase less than 10 percent uh, even after two hours uh, sonication and uh, 40 percent after prime time temp. that means uh, this uh, electrodes that's very really good long time step step and also uh, adherence uh, the seminar we can use this kind of electrode as a finger bending or uh, wrist bending and also joint movement and uh, Especially, we can use this kind as a real-time monitoring ECG and the knee joint movement uh, signaling with good stability. Here, uh, you, you read the best curve, just can get the ECG electrode here and also the screen sensor here, just the long, uh, really slow speed, normal speed, and very really fast speed here, you can show uh, here, that's very really good, uh, very really good uh, uh, properties. And the first part is about the dual close linked and um, based temperature response, uh, res responsive conductivity hydrogens with the MART sensors and the very st steady ECG monitoring. So this, uh, the, this kind of electrode, just the hydrogens, uh, conductive hydrogens. And uh, it can be temperature dependent. And, and uh, the uh, higher temperature, just like 25 or 30 degrees, and it can be. Uh, semi, uh, uh, be, be, uh, semi uh, transpa uh, transparency like this. And also, they are uh, uh, short, very really sensible uh, really to the pressures. But here, uh, uh, actually, we have to optimize the compositions uh, and then they use the uh, different mechanical properties of these uh, conductive uh, hydrogens. Uh, here we use this uh, strain, uh, strain, strain resistance sensor. Here I uh, use the different uh, the, uh, finger angle, angle from zero uh, to uh, 45, 90, and then uh, return. We should do uh, the signals here. So we also can use this uh, conductive hydrogen as the uh, ECG monitoring here. Uh, a uh, really uh, stable and uh, reproduce probability that as compared with commercial cell uh, cell uh, color right electrodes. Uh, uh, this uh, hydrogen electrodes achieve the better stability as here. And finally, uh, we just give a summary to this talk. Just the uh, uh, the sensors for human health care monitoring and the health. The first part uh, uh, the uh, on the one hand, we just talk about the printed ECG electrode, just as 
silver nanowise and reduced globally oxide and also uh, graphene. Uh, uh, on the other hand, on the other hand, we just focus on the composite facial and the screen principles, including the silver nanowise and the polymer system and the carbon uh, carbon nanotube and the mixed system and also uh, conductive hydrogen three part just for ECG and the temperature sensors. And okay, and uh, thanks to my collaborators and also the planning support. And also thanks for your attention. Okay, thank you. <laughs>